Hello Scatterventures and welcome to a new video. In this episode we'll be overclocking the Core i7-6950X, a 10-core overclockable monster from Intel. We'll be overclocking the CPU core, the CPU ring, the memory, tryout XMP and we're also having a look at the MSI Game Boost functionality. Alongside the CPU we'll be using the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of D-Scale Trident Z memory and the MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Seahawk graphics card. The total system cost of this system is about 2150 US dollar. All the links to the hardware are in the description below. Let's get going. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings. And then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 4K encoding, F1 2015 game benchmark and the PC Mark 8 creative workload. You can find all the benchmarks and their download links in the description below. To overclock the CPU frequency, we leave the easy mode and go to the advanced menus by pressing F7. Under the advanced mode, we go to the OC menu. Here, we increase the CPU ratio to 43 and increase the CPU core voltage to 1.3 volts. After all this is done, we save the settings by pressing F10 and go into the operating system. So we increased the CPU frequency to 4.3 GHz. Let's have a look at the performance results. Keep in mind that measuring the performance is a vital part of the overclocking process since you need to know exactly how fast your system is. In Intel XTU we have a performance increase of 22%. In HW X265 4K encoding we have a performance increase of 21%. In F1 2015 we have a performance increase of 14%. In PC Mark 8 Creative Workload, we have a performance increase of 9%. That concludes our overclocking adventure with the Core i7-6950X 10-core beast of a processor. For this, uh, for this video, we used the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z memory, and somewhat missing the 1080 Seahawk graphics card, also from MSI. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of uh, content, be sure to give it a like, uh, also subscribe to the channel. If you think that this system was already fast enough to begin with, there's a dislike button as well. You can find links to both the hardware and the benchmark tools and the overclocking tools in the description below. Thanks for watching.